M1 January 2018, IAL, question number eight, a uh, question about connected particles and pulleys and such. Okay, one end of a light and extensible string is attached to a block A of mass three kilograms. Block A is held at rest on a smooth fixed plane. Okay, no friction involved there. Um, <clears throat> The plane is inclined at 40 degrees to the horizontal ground. The string lies along a line of greater slope of the plane and passes over a smooth, a small smooth pulley which is fixed at the top of the plane. Um, so basically, it's, it's just one plane. It's not like an angle. It's straight down. Okay. <coughs> um, the other end of the string is attached to a block B of mass 5 kilograms. Block B hangs freely at rest below the pulley as shown in figure 4. The system is released from rest with the string taut, string tight. Okay, the mod by modeling the two blocks of particle, find the tension in the string as B descends. Okay, so now what we have here, we have, let's draw all the forces on these two, on these particles. Of course, you've got their weights which act vertically down. Okay, so that's the weight here is 3g, and the weight here is 5g. You've got the tension in the string, which is the same in both, because it's one one piece of string, pulling the particles, from pulling up, from pulling up. Okay, now you've also got here the reaction force when you have this in contact with the surface, always at a angle which is perpendicular to the surface. So there's no friction involved here because it says it's a smooth plane. Okay, so those are all the forces acting. Let's do some of the um, components. Now you've got the components of the force which are pa parallel and perpendicular to the plane. That's the components of the weight. Now this angle here is going to be the same as the angle 40, de 40 degrees. Okay, so for this component, it's going to going you're going inside into the angle, so it's going to be 3g times cosine 40. And here, to to resolve the force into this direction, you have to move away from the angle given, so it's going to be 3g times sine 40. Okay, so here we got some of the information. Now let's consider particle um, B. If I consider B, let me just consider B. If I resolve the forces now, B, if you re if you release, um, let's just do one more thing. If you release these particles, okay, what's going to happen is um, this side is going to go down, okay, because this is heavier, right? So you're going to have here acceleration in this direction here. Okay, and it tells us, anyway, okay, so that will be the acceleration. So what we can do is we can use the fact that F equals MA. We can use the fact that F equals MA for each of these particles. So this is accelerating the vertical plane. It's going to be vertically down. So the resultant force here will be 5G minus T. 5G minus T, and that's equal to MA. Now M is 5, it's so equal to 5A. So 5G minus T equals MA. The resultant force, down force minus upward force, is equal to mass times acceleration, 5A. Acceleration is going in the same vertical plane. Okay, that's for particle A. Oh, sorry, particle B. For particle A, I'm writing it here so we can see what's going on. For particle A, what we have, you have the acceleration parallel to the plane, this direction going up. So let's take that as positives. So we can say T and minus 3g sine 40 is equal to ma. Okay, the mass is, of well, this particle is 3. So it's equal to 3a. Okay, so we have these two equations, one from a, one from b. So we got t, for b you got 5g minus t equals 5a, equation 1. 
for a you've got t minus 3g for sine 40 t minus 3g sine 40 equals 3a so for particle a you got um sorry what was it t t minus 3g sine 40 t minus 3g sine 40 is equal to 3a that's equation one now the t's have got the same coefficient if we add the two equations together we'll end up with 5g minus 3g sine 40 is equal to 2a that equals seven uh, 8a so we're adding them together we're adding them because minus t plus 2 gives you 0 so that will give you 8a sorry equals 8a okay so we can now work out what a is okay a is going to be um, I'll work out what A is, then I can work out what T is. A is going to be 5G minus 3G sine 40 over 8. Okay, so let's work out what that is. We're going to take G as 9.8. So 5 times 9.8. Sorry, my, minus 3g sine 40 times 9.8 times sine 40. Make sure it's in degree mode. Yes, it is. Okay, times sine 40 divided by 8. Okay. And that gives us 3.763. 3.763. That's acceleration. We want to find the tension. So we could use this equation probably easier. We see that T is equal to 5G minus 5A. So T is equal to 5 times 9.8 minus 5 times 3.7. Six three. Okay, so let's multiply this five. Multiply this by five. Okay. Oops. Okay, eighteen point eight one. Eighteen point eight one three. Okay, and we're gonna have um eighteen point eight one four. So got five times 9.8 minus 5 times 3.763 that gives us tension as 30.185 30.2 Okay, we could write it as 30 newtons as well as we use G in this calculation. And when you use G as 9.8, which we're required to do, then your final answer is no problem expressing it in 2SF because G is 2SF. Okay, but if you put it to 3SF, it's also acceptable. So um, in general, it's, it's going to be 3 CF, 3, 3SF unless you use G. So it's, I guess, better to leave it as 3SF so that, you know, you don't get mixed up and you don't forget sometimes one or the other okay i'm going to do part b and c in the next video